Today I'm making dandelion bread. For this you'll need, of course, dandelion flowers. You can find them anywhere, even in cracks on the pavement. If your country is still under lockdown, maybe use your daily exercise to walk or run in a forest and on the way back gather some flowers. Other ingredients you'll need are 500 gram of flour, I'm using spelt flour but use whatever you have, around 300 milliliter of warm water, 1 tablespoon of yeast, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of dark molasses, if you don't have molasses you could use honey, a little bit of sweetness just really suits this recipe, 150 milliliter of vegetable oil and 1 tablespoon of chia seeds. The chia seeds are an egg replacement to make things stick together but I have since made it without and everything worked out fine to be honest so go with what you prefer. Begin with the dandelion. We want to use only the petals and as little green as possible. The easiest way to achieve this is with a pair of scissors. The pollen that cling to the petals will give the bread its distinct flavor. Gather as much as you want, but I recommend about two handful. Now for the dough, place the flour in a large bowl and, using a spoon, form a little crater. Place the yeast in the crater and add warm water. This will activate the yeast. Give it a few minutes to wake up. Meanwhile, grind the chia seeds. Once you remove the towel, you should see little bubbles and smell the scent of yeast. Now add chia seeds, salt, oil, a tablespoon of molasses, the dandelions and work everything into a dough. Give it another rest in a warm place for at least 30 minutes, but 45 is better. For easier kneading, sprinkle flour on the dough and spread some oil on your hands. Then knead. Work on some frustrations. Just really get in there. Look at that pretty baby! Place it on a baking sheet and make some cuts in the top. Throw a towel over it for another oh, 20 minutes. Now it's ready for the oven. 45 minutes at 150 degrees Celsius. Oh, beautiful! Place on a rack until it's completely cool and it's ready to enjoy. By the by, you can use the same dough and form it into rolls. Very nice, very tasty. And they make great buns for a vegan hamburger alternative. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe?